Again, I've called anarchism many things. In contemporary sense, it's a lot of negative anti-government, anti-society, anti anything vital things. <clears throat> anti-goodness, um, violence, whatever. In the other contemporary sense, it's considered anti-statism, despite the fact that anti-statism is something that anarchism needs, but isn't necessarily anarchism. In a classical sense, it's as Noam Chomsky says, choosing your own oppression, and um, in general, 19th century, 20th century, it's anti-hierarchies and anti-authority. Now, I've made the whole concept of the Z concept that states depend on a Z axis of authority and power. And I differentiated between authority and power. Um, and I said that both authority and power still exist in some senses. Does that make me not an anarchism? Well, because I also denied that power can exist in some senses, does that make me someone who's not a libertarian, since power requires force, and force is something that libertarians oppose, just like, um, anarchists oppose authority, which is one through hierarchy and proxy. And with this, you can see that there's a downward slope Z axis that can be applied to ending not just states but symptoms that are very similar towards states and that's the downward slope of a loss a major loss of authority and a minor loss of force since force is only at the margins of the states and various things like the state And with this being said, it also takes into account, uh, really, the nature of anti-capitalist arguments, which imply that capitalism uses authority. I already mentioned the argument that capitalism uses hierarchies, which I've stated um, doesn't make sense because it implies that hierarchies actually are the horizontal not horizontal, vertical thing of the thing in the bottom and thing at the top, those little classes of the caste system. I mean, it's really just the central core and a giant nexus that's entering into that core. And all you really need is for that nexus to have that little core removed, that little eye, which could be placed among the nexus as a regular network without that core. I think I said that in a very confusing manner. If I confuse you, let me repeat that. And now furthermore, capitalism can exist without an authority as it can be enforced uh, polycentrically. Um, if there's a situation where someone says that he doesn't think that this land belongs to the capitalists or the person who owns that structure of production and um this has been decided this hasn't been decided um since um he's not the hierarchy it could easily be the case where the arbiter can look at the situation and say okay based on what's happened no this isn't his land or yes, this is his or her land, and this would move up and continue forward until, um, except for saying filler words so much, it would become the situation where he no longer owns that structure of production. Now the person who rented it actually owns it based on the unnatural homesteading of this land or whatever the arbiter has decided and has eventually and the, eventually as these situations move up as these decisions are made it would come to the situation where either 
someone can own land via capital or not and it doesn't have to be enforced by an authority or as an essential hierarchical nexus again if you want to really grasp uh, my previous claims that I've made in regards to this situation you should go back to my older video um, let me see what, what was the name of the video where I addressed these uh, topics capitalism sans hierarchies where I said that capitalism can't exist as long as the capitalist or person who owns private property isn't the nexus isn't the core of the hierarchy it's not about the bottom versus the top it's about the center the nexus versus everything that's trying to connect to each other but has that as the intermediary and what private property is being implied as is something that creates the intermediary when in actuality this isn't empirically seen or practical <laughs> Seeing as there's a anarchist communities that have private property and capitalism can exist without as a nexus. It can exist as something that isn't a nexus and better yet it can exist as something that isn't the authority. Since the center of the hierarchy the big thing of the hierarchies the authority still authorities can exist in some sense with um, an emotional gang-like intimidation sense through personal people um, family members which is counts as personal people and just like force can exist with personal people and common criminals were just strangers and these things are applied personally too that's where it's hard to remove them completely but it's easy to deal with them